Hello, I'm going to show you in this video how to trim objects. First I'm going to do uh, the trim using the object trimmer, then I'm going to show you a faster way to do it, and finally I'm going to show you how to change the audio speed. So here we have a, a set of four clips with the soundtrack on it. You can see that there's only four of them in this timeline, and we're going to uh, we've got a soundtrack already in there. Right now the soundtrack's muted, but if we unmute it, so see, you can't hear it now. So if we unmute the soundtrack, you can tell because the little white part is off, uh, now you can hear the audio. We'll go back and mute the track again, and now we're going to select the one we want to edit. And this one is uh, with the bird. And what I want to do is I want to catch the bird just before it flies away. So kind of about this position. So with the object trimmer, you're going to select the clip, right click, go to object trimmer. And now you see you've got your entry point on the left. And then on the, the right, you're going to have your, your out point or your exit or your last frame or whatever. So what you want to do is you want to adjust backwards and you can see the clip shrinking and you want to get to that exact point uh, before the bird starts to get bend down to fly away. You want to uh, just go to that point, adjust it back and forth. You're going one frame at a time. Position. Notice there's a gap there. So we're going to click OK. We're going to go and we're going to put our uh, marker in the gap. We're going to right click. We're going to put range above. And you see that that highlights that range. So then we're going to go into edit range and we're going to do cut. And what that's going to do is it's going to close the gap. Unfortunately, what it also does is it cuts the audio track, which is one of the reasons I don't like using this approach. So we'll give you a different approach uh, in just a minute. So instead of just uh, doing that, uh, that cut that we did earlier, I'm going to select all the objects. So you hold down the shift key and select them all and just move them so that they butt up against each other. So now I'm going to show you a much easier and faster way to do this. So let's say we want to uh, cut that same bird out again. Uh, we can drag our cursor to the approximate location and then use this shuttle to move frame by frame back to the point that we want the cut to happen. So now we've got our place where we want to do it. So we click on this razor blade icon, uh, remove end, and that will just butt everything up against each other. Uh, without any problems at all. Now in this case we want to uh, I want the bird standing. I'm going to remove about half of this clip so I want to see the bird's face for the exit point. Select the clip, click that down arrow, select the uh, remove end. Unfortunately it's not showing here but uh, uh, that's that's what it says when you click that arrow you got a number of choices same thing with the butterfly I want to catch it before it flies away and so and I wanted it in focus so that's why I, I picked that particular frame gonna do the same thing and trim the end off so now I've got the video the way the way I want it my audio track hasn't been affected um, at least the music track the, if there was an audio tied to it it would be affected so here we're going to play the uh, music. I'm going to go right through the clip a, uh, a ways. It renders slow on that particular clip because it's a very high resolution clip. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, change the way the audio sounds because I didn't particularly like it. So I'm going to go to Audio Effects General, Time Stretch Resample, turn on this particular audio effects. And now you can see it's on. And what we're going to do is we're going to play it back. And I want the tempo to be a little bit different. So as it's playing, again, I'm going to listen to it. And 
and I'm going to change the tempo a little bit. It won't change the pitch, just the speed of the audio. And that's pretty much how you do it. I hope this has helped.